Good evening. In 1939, Georgia O'Keeffe traveled to Hawaii at the request of the Hawaiian Pineapple Company to deliver two promotional pineapple paintings. During her tra time traveling among the islands, she was captivated by the tropical splendor before her and disenchanted with the corporate interest behind her visit. Georgia in Hawaii frames a few weeks in the familiar artist's life, offering essential information about her passion and her perspective through her attitudes and conduct. Sharp, warm language and lush imagery immerse the reader in the environment and echo O'Keeffe's inspiration and independence. I am delighted to present a 2012 Boston Globe Hornbook Honor Book Award for nonfiction to Georgia in Hawaii when Georgia O'Keeffe painted What She Pleased, published by Harcourt Children's Books, edited by Samantha McFerrin, illustrated by Juji Morales, written by Amy Novetsky. Betsy Groban will be accepting for Juji Morales and Amy Novetsky. I can't resist saying as the publisher we are so honored that we have two books that have been honored tonight. <laughs> so that's off script. Georgia in Hawaii. When Georgia O'Keeffe painted what she pleased. This is from Amy Novesky. Thank you, Boston Globe Hornbook Awards, for this tremendous honor. It was pure luck that I was in New York sipping champagne with librarians and book lovers at BEA when the awards were announced. What a thrill it was to hear Georgia in Hawaii named an honor book in the nonfiction category among so many extraordinary books. I was deeply moved to hear my name called in such company. I'm sorry not to be there today to accept the award in person. I'm at home in San Francisco dreaming up new books to write and thinking about all of you celebrating books in Boston. Thank you for celebrating mine. Thank you to my devoted and daring editor, Sam McFerrin, editorial director, Jeanette Larson, publicist, Rachel Wasdyke, and me, publisher, Betsy Graham. <laughs> Love. 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 Thank you to Juji Morales, too, whose gorgeous artwork brings Georgia and Hawaii to life. I share this award with all of you. Aloha. From Juji. I have followed the Boston Globe Hornbook Awards with great interest since before I was a published author or illustrator. I was always delighted to learn about the selections by reading the Hornbook magazine in my public library. One of the librarians had explained to me that the magazine was actually librarian's material, but noticing my interest, she would bring me stacks of past issues, and by the time it was closing time, I was never done with reading them. But my librarians nurtured me. Against all the library rules, they would let me take the magazines home for the night. After all, I would be there the next day without fail, and they knew it. And now my work is one of the Boston Globe Hornbook Award selections. How I wish I could be there with all of you to celebrate. Yet there is so much happening that makes it imperative that I stay at home at this time. Two things are especially significant. The first is that two days ago, I attended my naturalization ceremony where I finally became a citizen of the United States. The second is that this fall, I am getting ready to move part-time to my country of birth, Mexico, where I will be close to my family, as I have dreamed of for more than 18 years. One of the first things I plan to do as soon as I settle there is grow a garden with some of the fantastic tropical flowers I love. Georgia in Hawaii is not only a book about fantastic flowers and fish hooks or waterfalls and rare corals, but for me, it is a book about looking up close, about stopping to patiently observe what we marvel at, and about creating exactly that which pulls at us. As usual, when I write or illustrate a book, there was so much I learned too. Here are some of my findings while illustrating Georgia in Hawaii. Georgia arrived in Hawaii sporting a green suit and a hat. She went there, as you said, commissioned by the Pineapple Company to create two paintings to promote the delights of pineapples. Georgia was stubborn. She was also stoic. She preferred to be alone, and she was not very smiley. Georgia and I are quite different. Georgia was an artist. Georgia might not have considered me a worthy colleague. She tended to be snobby about who was an artist and who was not. When it was time to give the Pineapple Company their commissioned paintings, 
Georgia gave them a painting of a heliconia flower and one of a papaya tree. <laughs> Just wait. Papaya was the fruit of the com competitor's industry. <laughs> no one told Georgia O'Keeffe what to paint. Thinking about it more, Georgia and I are very similar. Ask my editor. So thank you to my editor, Sam McFerrin, and the Harcourt family, because ever since my first book, Harcourt has believed in me. They, along with my agent, Charlotte Sheedy, and my revisionaries critique group, have been there from the beginning to see me grow. To the Boston Globe Hornbook Selection Committee, thank you so much for allowing my work to be fanfared. If I could, I would show my librarians that one more of the dreams they nurtured in me has come true.